Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Let's start this motor up and cruise down the river. Let's look around a little bit, do some fishing. It's probably about four o'clock right now. Three thirty-eight. So, monkey just dropped me off. Let's start this thing up. Let's get going down the river. I'll see you in the next clip. guys so I'm back here in this little cove that one cove that I liked where I said I can pull the boat right up in there's a bunch of campers up there and there's a couple girls up there by one of the trailheads and I asked them when they opened it and they said well they didn't know when they got here they had reservations too but when they got here the gate was already open and they never received any email but I got an email canceling my thing and then when I checked again yesterday, well, it was due to the storm. When I checked it again yesterday, it was still closed. All these places around here were said they were closed due to flooding. Well, I don't see any flooding. I mean, it's soft up in there, but I don't see any flooding. So, I don't know. I'm going to sit here and do some fishing. I think I'm going to go right up here. I didn't bring my chair. Go figure. So, I'm going to go right up here on this little point right, right here behind this palm, palm tree right here. And uh, I'm going to do a little fishing. And I'll kick you back on when I do some fishing. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up the creek or up the river here probably in about, uh, let's see. It's 4 o'clock now. It's 3.59 now. So I'm going to go up. My fishing license on here because mine got wet. They got washed. So I got my fishing license on, on an app. But it's 3.59 now, so I'm going to go up. I'll probably head out of here about 6. And I'll go up river to where I can get some uh, service. And um, get a hold of Monkey and tell her that everything's alright. Uh, I got like one bar right now. Uh, when she got home, <laughs> she got home a few minutes ago. And, uh... And my alarm was going off there was movement at the front door so the ring doorbell came through somehow when I went to look at it I was gonna say something to her but then it said uh, you don't have any service or whatever but so anyway I'm gonna do a little fishing um, I did not bring a knife a fillet knife so I'll be throwing everything back um, I was gonna make some some fish but I did I did bring a couple cans of I, I brought the stove and I brought a couple cans of uh, beef ravioli chef boy RD and so that's what we're gonna have for supper and I got some snacks I, I just brought some potato chips because it's only a one night or so I figure I'll eat one can tonight and maybe one can in the morning for breakfast and then I'll meet her back at the at the ramp at at noonish so 
Oh well. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I think I'm going to walk over here at this little point right behind me and I'll do a little fishing. I might fish from here. I'll put the top down and fish from here for a little bit. We just have to see with these boats, you know, the, my boat's moving up and down, so it's not good for fishing. So I'll go out on the point. And, uh, so I'll go out on the point and do a little fishing. You'll see when these waves come in like this. Now it'll be all right at night to fish off the boat, I figure. Or I might go up that, that other little dock up there that I showed you. I might go up there and fish off of it, but see. Well, I got stabilize, stable, stabilization on here, so you probably can't really tell, but not good for fishing. So I'm going to go right over here behind me. I'll bring you with me in, in case I catch something. What I'd like to do, I didn't think anybody would be here tonight. I was going to walk some of these trails and do a Bigfoot hunt, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. I don't want to scare anybody. You know, oh, there's a guy out here walking these trails at night with a camera <laughs> with night vision. Maybe we'll find somewhere else to go. We'll just have to see. We'll may Maybe we'll motor around here. My lights are working. So, come headlights working, nav lights working, and um, I had some more of the blue lights go out four of them so uh, bad got some bad wiring or something so anyway guys let's do some fishing all right guys I know it's not a good angle but I've got a fish on I'm back here in a little cove <clears throat> let's see what I can do. Catfish. There we go. First fish of the night. I'll show him to you here in just a second. This is a nice little cove back in here, boy. I know the sun's pretty bright, but... There we go. There, monkey. He's talking to you. <laughs> I just casted right out there. It's a good eating size there. He's about a half a pound. Try for number two. What I did was I moved out of that cove over there and I came back in here because I was looking right across here and I thought, man, I don't remember this cove being here, but the water was really low last time we were here. Down this far, it's been a couple years, but so I thought, well, I'll just get back in this little cove because that's where. You know, when the water's high, that's where the fish is going to be. So, that's fish number one. Uh, what time is it? I don't think I got to go yet. Ain't sure what what time it is, but I'll get back up in here out of the sun, and I'll cast right straight back there where I was. I went with some monofilament line. But I got spider wire, put 17, 17 pound tests on it. So, I get back up here in these weeds a little bit, kind of help hold me. Kind of help hold me still. I hate messing with this anchor, you know, I'm not supposed to be lifting stuff, so.
All right, guys. So I'll kick you on if I get another one. Okay, guys. Fish number two. They're hitting like mad. The old Zevco 33, vintage Zevco 33, slaughtering them today, boy. Another catfish. Man, I'd have been eating good tonight if I'd have brought my knife. I do have a knife, but it's not good for filleting, so. I think he swallowed my hook, so I'm gonna to have to get my pliers and I'm gonna to have to take the hook out. But he's bigger than the last one, this one's about a pound. Yeah, I gotta get my pliers. So, anyway, fish number two. I'm catch a couple more before I have to go, go upstream. I may come back here. I just may do some light fishing back in here tonight. I got plenty of light, but we'll just have to see. All right, let me get my pliers. Fish number three, I just cast it out. Just got the boat settled in and now the fish are wanting to pull me back out. I don't want to get in that current. I want to stay in this spot because I know right where I'm casting. Hope you guys can see us all right. Another catfish. He's a fighter. And they're getting bigger as we go. In a second here and I'll show him to you. Fish number three. All right, got to get his hook out. <laughs> Glad I got my pliers out. First one, we got lucky. This one, well, the one before this and this one swallowed the hook. They're all... So let me get the hook out. That's fish number three, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to motor upstream to where I can get some service. Monkey likes me to check on her, so uh, it's 5.30. I figure by the time I get service, it should be around 6 o'clock. And we're going to come back down in this area and do a little bit of night fishing. It's going to get dark here probably about an hour and a half-ish. So about 7 o'clock, it'll start getting dark. It'll start hitting again. I want to come right back in here. We'll do a little night fishing. We'll go up here, do some night fishing and uh i don't know what time we're going to eat yet so i say we because you're with me <laughs> i don't know what time i'm going to eat yet but we'll just play it by ear so let's get going up here got a hold of monkey i'm kind of back in another little cove all the way back down to where we was just at um it's spotty <clears throat> spotty service but she knows I'm okay now, so everything be good. Uh, she wasn't feeling well, but she, I told her about people camping down there, and she said, I'm pissed now. I'm like, yeah, me too. And, uh, looked like my line was going over that way. My pole wasn't moving. I got my 
pulling the water here, so. Haven't ate yet. Uh, so I, I just went up here. I didn't even get up to where the, uh, to where the, the, the boat ramp is. And my phone started uh, going off with notifications from like Facebook and shit. So I knew right in that area, it was just, just right out here. So I knew I could get a message out to her, let her know I was okay. Told her I caught three fish. But, um, so I haven't eaten yet, so it's only been a few minutes. It's getting dark quick. I'm gonna have to get my light out here pretty soon. And I brought my tripod for the light, so. And if we go to this little dock down here, we may try it. I think there's electric there. Now whether it's turned on or not, I don't know. We'll have to find out. So I brought an extension cord and a fluorescent light. So. There's a gator right over here. I can't see him, but I can hear him. I haven't seen any gators today, so. But I, I hear that one right over there. No, that's a frog. Okay, cool. I think it's a frog. Anyway, I'm going to try my luck here for a couple minutes don't do any good we'll go back to that little hole we was at some more campers even came in down there but I have a reservation but I don't have it with me I should have brought it um, but when I go to sleep on the boat I'm gonna pull back in there where the first place we was at um, if anybody says anything I'm gonna tell them to kiss my ass because I got reservations you know cancel my reservations but nobody else's that don't even make sense so they're going to get an email from me or a phone call monday morning i'm that's bullshit you know and then just to leave the gate open you're not supposed to leave the gate open anyway you're supposed to keep it closed so i don't know anyway i'm gonna try my luck here for a few minutes and we'll see what happens we're back in that other little cove i've got my big light on up there on that little pod that, that tripod i made so Hopefully they'll be biting again. So I was spotlighting around a little bit when I was coming back in here. I did see one gator. Well, I seen the eyes of the gator and then he went under. They're pretty cool because they light up like an orangish yellow. Real bright when you shine the light on them. So, um, but, so we're going to try our luck here for a little bit and see what happens. So it's about it's 7.13 course p.m. I don't know I've been joking with monkey about Sasquatch here lately but I'm telling you what I'm hearing some tree knocking over here to the left of me and there's no houses that's swamp back in there weird I mean I'm talking swamp swamp I would have my big light on but It broke off, my thing fell over, a boat came past, and that little pot I had fell over, so it's not easy. There we go. Let me shut you off a of night vision here. I wish I had a switch up on top. My old one does. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty eerie. But, yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy, man. I keep hearing knocks over here. Over that way. There's nothing over there. See, that is all swamp. There's no houses or anything over there. So, I just thought I'd... Just thought I'd share that with you guys. I got crap. I'm gonna have to clean my lens. I'm sorry. Probably why it's so blurry. 
I'm gonna have to wipe my lens off. Let me get that cleaned off and I'll be back with you here in a little bit. I've had I had one good bite when we when we first got here, but you know it's kind of creepy being out here by yourself. Anyway, let me clean my lens off. So I'm back in this little cove now. Man, the current is so rough clear up to the bank here. I liked it back over where I was in that cove. They just weren't hitting. So I'm in this cove. I think I'm getting a bite. Nope, he got off there. But anyway, they just they just quit biting there, so I'm just using night crawlers at night because uh, I wanted to uh, just get a chance at maybe you know anything. So I just got me a night crawler on there, the number one hook. Uh, 3 8 ounce weight uh, I may have to put a bigger weight on it later on this evening if the current don't slow down but anyway this is I don't know if you guys can see that but where to put the flashlight <laughs> well no, I can't find the flashlight but uh there it is Right where I left it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's the current's really moving fast. So, so I'm gonna hang out here for a while. Do a little fishing. I might get something to eat later. It's not quite eight o'clock yet, so if I catch a fish or if something exciting happens, I'll kick you back on. I had a bite and I went to reel it in because it kept biting but I went to reel it in and check my bait I had this little guy on here so <laughs> just a little catfish I kept seeing my pole move, but nothing was taking it. So, there we go. come on, open up. So, it's number four. He's just little. You'll watch these little guys because they'll they'll horn you just quicker and easier than the big guys, and, and they hurt worse. All right, so I'm gonna have to get baited back up. And um, see if we can catch another one. I don't know what time it is to shut my phone off. Um, but we're going to go up here at the shelter. I'm going to make something to eat. I'm feeling a little lightheaded and dizzy. So I better go get something to eat. May cast the line out there a few times and may just keep the boat there and sleep on the boat there. But we'll just have to see. So let's go ahead and let's head back up there. Okay guys, we're not up at the shelter, we're up here at the dock. There's no electricity to that pole. <laughs> it's got plug-ins and stuff, but no electric. So, we're gonna go ahead and make our supper. And I'll bring you down here. Let you see what we're doing. I'm in bear territory here. So, I hope, I mean, I'm just heating up some, I'm just heating up some uh, ravioli, so it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't bother them, you know, it shouldn't attract them, I hope. tornado 
batteries are getting low. I've got extra batteries in there, but. Got our little cook kit. Here a while back I did a review on this thing. Uh, I like it. We used it camping. Um, when we went, when we went up by the Gulf Coast, when we used it. Yeah, hopefully this don't attract them. And I figure making this noise. And, um... With the lights, hopefully, you know, over here's the... I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Yeah, over there, that's the... That's the back railing over on the other side there. That's where we're going to go I'm going to do a little fishing I'll probably just leave the boat right here where it's at but here's the boat sitting right here so we just motored right up through here okay all right let's okay I'm gonna have to pump this up pump up the jams right yeah, I'm just uh, not feeling real well. And, of course, I left my bag in the boat that I was going to use for trash. Well, yeah, I'll just have to make more than one trip. I might just leave the boat here and sleep on the boat here, but I'd rather go back down there in that cove that way first thing in the morning I can just um, it's not cold out I'm wearing this because of mosquitoes um, you know I can just get up and throw my line in the water heat this up I was going to do it on the boat and I was like no nah, shit ain't going to do it on the boat I figured I'd end up falling off or something so almost fell over once getting out down there had my damn camera in my hand and the boat moved and uh, I was like shit I can swim but all right guys I'm gonna heat this up keep an eye out for bears okay I just heard something big right in there It sure didn't sound like armadillos. I mean, this thing sounded big. Could be a bear. But I haven't heard it leave. But it kind of got quiet when I started shining light over there and hollering. I think I can make a jump from right there into the boat if I had to. I don't know what it was. I 
see some people walking, but it wasn't them. I got this done. It didn't take long. About three minutes. Nice and hot. Chef Boy RD brings back memories, man. Eating this stuff for lunch when I was a kid. Late night snack when mom and dad was still asleep. Of course, they knew. <laughs> you're not very stealthy when you're eight or nine years old trying to make beef ravioli. I brought a beer. I drank it earlier. I'm glad them people walked past, though. Because whatever that thing was, was big. But, hopefully I can get you guys over there on that dock without, without, uh, dropping camera in the water. Ruined one like that one time. I still got the tape for the footage, but I don't have anything to play the tape on. But, it was in, uh, was it? Hell's Tunnels or whatever up there. It was in Ohio. And uh, I come running out. Big drop off right at the end of the tunnel. My friend Andy was uh, was shining a light for me. And uh, I was going to light. He was at the end of the tunnel. And I didn't stop quick enough. And it was deep. Held on to the camera, but ruined it, man. <laughs> ruined that camera. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm, I'm going to enjoy a cigarette. Go down and rinse this pan out. And, uh... Do a little fishing before we go to sleep. So... It's funny because when I went into that last cove that we was fishing at, as soon as I got out of the boat, my alarm was going off on my phone. And when I went to see, you know, for the ring doorbell, when I went to see who it was, it said no internet service. So I figured it must have been Monkey letting Bruno out or something. But I don't know, so I went in. That's why I shut my phone off. Because people, you know, not far from there are camping. So, you know, I didn't want to bother them with that thing going off. So, hopefully that's what it was. But, I hope she's feeling better. She hasn't felt good. Her sugar's been high, so. But, I haven't ate all day. This is the only thing I've ate all day. So, it could be why I'm getting a little lightheaded. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, I got one on here. <clears throat> of course, my net is in the boat. The boat's right there. I think I can get him up out of here for you. Yeah, there we go. Catching them like they're going out of style now. This is number five. And I gotta go get my pliers, I think. Now I got the hook. Left my pliers over there. Because they're heavy to carry in my pocket. There we go. There's number five. He's a pretty good size one. Got him out here on the end of this pier. I didn't want to bring you guys out there on that little tiny pier. So I'll just bring them up here when I catch them. Like I said, I don't know what time it is. I ain't checking my phone. So when I catch them, I'll bring them up here to you guys. We're back on the boat. We're gonna go back down that other cove. I wanna see what time it is. I'll probably fish for a little bit down there. 
So I've got five fish. Pretty good day. But we're going to head down to the other cove. Dock there for the rest of the night. I'll probably get up on bank though to fish. And then I'll show you my bed when I get ready to make my bed up here. I'll show you what I did to to make my bed. So we're back here back at the, the little cove which is behind me I know you can't see anything but we're back here so I'm gonna do some fishing it's 11 o'clock right now I did turn my phone on and check see what time it was so I'm gonna fish here for a little bit and I'll show you what I did with my bed I figure I'll give it about an hour or so depending on how they're biting and we'll go from there okay guys fish number six Not very big. But still counts. That's number six. I had to put me a steel leader on there. I got a hold of something. He bit my line in half and stole my hook. So I put a steel leader on that I found up there where we was eating supper at. So. Let me fix my bait. Let's go for seven or eight, shall we? Then, uh. And I'll make my bed roll up. So, number six. All right, slaughtering them tonight, guys. Okay, guys. I heard something big walking around over here. There's the boat. Against my better judgment, I'll go check this out. see anything yet wide open now. Okay, we're going back to the boat. Still haven't set up my bed yet. <clears throat> a 
weird. So, I would turn it around towards me, but I'm using the light to see. I don't want to step on a snake. That may be curled up in one of these or something. So, this has been my night. I didn't even get another hit after after that last little one we caught. Alright. Now, I gotta shut you off for a minute. Set you down in there, because look at this. This is steep. And then I gotta get my bed set up. Those boards you've seen at an angle. That's what this is laying on. I got a towel underneath it. I won't climb in there. I don't want my legs hanging over or my head or arms hanging over the boat. I don't see any gators, but. So we should be okay. I hope they don't come down here. Slide down here and get into the damn boat. So I'm gonna be back here. Okay guys, so it's 12.10 a.m. I forgot something to make, to bring as a pillow. So I'm probably gonna have to use a camera bag or just deal with it. <laughs> but it's hot out here, but if I take this off, I know I'm gonna get bit up by mosquitoes. So I'm not going to cover up. I'm probably going to leave my boots on. In case I got to get out of here for something. There is a little bit of water in, in this boat. but Nothing major so I don't want to forget about it and step down in that water. And then my socks will be all wet. So anyway. I don't know if this will be the last clip for the night or not. It's only 12 o'clock. I usually don't go to sleep till 3 or 4, so I'll probably just uh, I'll lay here and try to go to sleep and see what happens. I think the camera's okay. Did you guys hear that? Sound like a big explosion. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, so I know it's not thunder beautiful stars out tonight I was going to try to film some of it for you but I kept getting hits <coughs> oh excuse me I kept getting hits <coughs> oh, I'm catching fish so anyway we'll see how it goes I might kick you on in a little bit if I can't sleep so pretty comfortable though for what it is I've slept on worse just wish I had a pillow and I'd be fine, so. Yeah. Alright. Well, if I don't see you, good night. <laughs> so. But, uh, I might kick you on and talk to you for a little bit later, so. Alright, guys. I'll be back with you, whether it's later tonight or tomorrow morning. I'll be back. So I just checked the time. It's 3.18 haven't gotten any sleep yet but about an hour ago it was 2 13 so I was like yeah I'm gonna try to do a little fish and I kept getting I kept getting bites and then I get this one hit and he took me right down here to this tree he must have got under a root under that tree he was a pretty good sized fish I was getting ready to turn the camera on I was like no I seen him going that way I was like wasn't nothing I could do you know so, uh, anyway, that 17 pound test monofilament uh, spider wire is something else. This is all I could do to get that to, to break. Um, 
So anyway, I was like, eh, the heck with it. So I just looked around, watched the sky for a little bit and stuff like that. So uh, I want to try to get a little rest now. Uh, but yeah, it's... weird but yeah Oops. three twenty now okay so I just been hanging out man I'm telling you what Ooh. I haven't been bent by any mosquitoes but I hear them buzzing around me, so I put my hood up and I put this over my head. And I can still hear them buzzing. I don't know if that's worse than getting bit. I've only been bit a couple times. Uh, it cooled down, so I'm real comfortable now. Except for when I get all this over top of me, so the mosquitoes don't bother me. But it's real comfortable weather. I didn't figure the mosquitoes would be out. They are, like I said, they're not biting me though. But I hate the sound of a mosquito flying around me. But, yeah, it's a very comfortable night. I'm not sure what the weather is because I don't have any service. So, uh, it, it's weird because, like, I was sitting here fishing and I got, monkey sent me a heart, like, I don't know, almost 11 o'clock, like 10.52 or something. And I got it, it was after two o'clock, but for some reason it came in. I don't know. And like, but there is absolutely no service. I have no service at all, no bars. If you try to go on to anything, it'll tell you no service, so. Uh, So, anyway guys, that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to try to get some sleep now. So we can get up in the morning. And uh, I want to go back over that cove. Where we caught the first three fish. I want to go back over there. And try it first thing in the morning. Here for the, like the past hour, it's been like... Real eerily quiet. I can hear some crickets and stuff, but I mean, now I'm starting to hear some things again, but it's really quiet, like eerie quiet. Uh, the current was moving in the water, which it still is bad current here, but I didn't hear any fish jumping. I could, all I could hear is like like the crickets, the sounds you're hearing now. The owls quit hooting, and uh, the coyotes quit quit howling. I don't hear anything now. I had a little breeze there for a while, come up, and uh, I couldn't really feel it down here. I could feel a little bit if I sat up, but. Uh, but you could hear the trees moving, you know? So, I was like, maybe that'll get rid of the mosquitoes, but really it didn't. The, most of the wind was up high, you know? So, this is zoom. I don't know why. Can I zoom here or something? That don't make sense. It says zoom. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> Still getting used to, to the camera. I tried to get some shots of the stars, so I don't know if they'll come out or not. Uh, if you can see them, you know, I'll put them in here. But if not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do it. But um, the, uh, but they are very beautiful. Uh, it's just like. It's like you see in the movies, man. It, it just like thousands of them. Like I said, just like you see in the movies, it's so beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky 
There's no moon out, but there's not a cloud in the sky, just all stars. You can see the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, the Milky Way. And it's just, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. So hopefully, you know, I pick some of that up. Uh, and I don't know if I got the backlight turned up on this or not, which I should have for shots like that. But yeah, it's amazing. Good morning, guys. 6.30 a.m. So, I'm going to roll up my sleeping bag. And we're going to go right across the, right over here to this little cove and do a little morning fishing. See how that goes. Didn't sleep real well because uh, the mosquitoes, man, they're bad. Uh, wasn't so much as getting bit, it just... I had to stay covered up, try to drown out the buzzing noise. I hate that sound, and uh, so I sweated all night long. Perfect night. I mean, weather-wise, it was just so, you know, I just can't stand hearing them mosquitoes buzzing around me all night long. So I'm going to go ahead, roll up my sleeping bag. I, like I said, i got to put another line or another hook and sinker on my line and we'll get baited up and we'll see how morning fishing is so we get ready to go over there. I think I'm just going to use the trawling motor to go over there because it's not that far and uh, I'll kick you on if it's bright enough and uh, I'll show you where we're going so I'll turn you around here in just a second wicked man it'll push you where it wants you to go not where you want to go surprised I haven't seen any boats yet this morning I figured there'd be a lot of boats out I guess people going to church and stuff, but usually Sunday, man, out here this river's full of boats and airboats. I figured I'd be hearing them at five o'clock in the morning, but I haven't heard any. It's almost seven now. This is where we was at last night when we caught the three. I was kind of nosed in. I'll show you what, what I did. Kind of nosed it in, then cast it back out this way. So I will probably put the top down so I can get a better cast. And if I got a fish fighting me, it'll be easier to bring it in. So. And I'll just spin around, fish off the back. big log or something in here because I felt it yesterday when I was easing up through here sounds like a squirrel hunter there
snoozed right up in here and then just casting out just casting out that way so hopefully we'll get something this morning I'm gonna go ahead and put this top down I'm gonna get baited up and I'm gonna get casted out ain't been here five minutes just got a nice hit and started rain it's starting to rain already it wasn't supposed to rain today well 20 some percent chance but you're in Florida it's going to rain so hopefully it doesn't get bad enough I gotta put the top up and put the camera away but if it does it does I think I got a raincoat for the camera I'll have to check it might stop I'll let you know what happens all right guys fish on first fish of the day seventh for the weekend still counts oh cool yeah check him out and he swallowed my damn hook it's a nice crappie right there that's what I'm talking about Heck yeah all right I gotta get I gotta get you guys covered up I'm gonna start heading back to the uh, to the ramp there's really nowhere to take cover there either but that's alright uh, at least you won't be up there waiting on me worried about oh, excuse me worried about me so we're gonna take off I'm gonna fire up this motor we're just going to idle up there it's slacked off now um, but it looks like there's more coming in so when we get up there I'll talk to you some more um, we'll go from there we're back at the dock I got fish number eight here and he tangled me He's still on though. Shit. Hate when they do that. I gotta get up and try to get around there. He's right out there. Big tree limb. I might be able to bring them both in. He may have gotten off now, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. What it is, he felt decent. If he's still on, yeah, he's still on there. I seen. Whoa. Yeah, I see him on there. <clears throat> so 
if I can do this without falling in. Another crappie. There he is. Fish number eight. somebody coming it might be no it ain't monkey fish number eight guys all right well still waiting on monkey she must still be asleep and I don't have any service so I'm right here at the ramp so might as well just wait here instead of going back out and coming back in so I had to get this branch out of my way. Out of everybody's way. <clears throat> That's not good on fishing line or propeller. Ah, it just smacked me in the face. Alright. I'm gonna go over here on the dock. Starting to rain again. I gotta get you guys covered up again. Fish number eight. Cool. Wait. No, this is what? Fish number nine. Let me get my glasses on. Rain or shine. Yeah. Go. fish number fish number nine all right well gotta get the hook out I'm gonna try some more until she gets here Okay, I got fish number 10 on. He's kind of small, probably a crappie or... Oh, bluegill. Ain't it? Is it a crappie? Fish number 10 for the weekend for today. This is my fourth one today. I just cast it out just now. I went for a ride. Still, still waiting on monkey. Like I said, I'm just using a using eye crawlers and number one hook. So catching them. <laughs>
guys so hope you enjoyed the little trip and the camp out on the boat you see a lot of uh, a lot of videos of you know they'll they'll say camping on the boat or camping with the boat while well, they're taking it their boat to campground so I'm one of the few I did see one where a guy stayed on his boat but I'm one of the few that actually spent the night on it and you guys came with me so monkey just picked me up we got the boat loaded I'm gonna take one more look and then we're gonna head to the house I'm gonna unload my stuff and I'm gonna take a nap what are you gonna do mama go to CVS go to CVS she gonna get some medicine all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend special thanks to Monkey 1000 for dropping me off and picking me up huh she said thank you <laughs> all right bye guys take care